You, wet ladies, most of you have a highly attuned intuition. And yet many of you, it's like your intuition has, has um, rose colored glasses on it. The foolproof way is to, Hillary asks, question. Should it be an automatic next if a guy writes on his profile, let's be friends first and see where it goes? That seems like a reasonable path, but he's not ready or serious. You know, I think my dating profile intimated something similar. Now, let's think about this for a moment. What's the benefit of a friend first? Well, friends first means you feel comfortable with one another. I want you to think about this. Are some of your, are your best friends the people you feel like you can say anything to? Yeah. I think there's value in developing friendship. You know, I think about my relationship with my sweetheart. You know, we had met on, it's a long distance. And uh, folks, you know, I'm not a big fan of long distance relationships, but I think ours was unique for a variety of different reasons. And you're more than welcome to ask me about that. First off, we met on a dating site. She lived 1,700 miles away, 1,800 miles away. And, you know, there wasn't really any plan to meet, but we're like, okay, you know, we connected and we began to stay connected, okay? And a little here, a little there, we would talk to one another and we became Facebook friends. So in the course of one year, we had spent some time getting to know each other non-romantically. And then when we finally did meet, it was as friends. Now there was, there was chemistry and there was something really special that happened on our first meeting, but we didn't meet in a romantic sense. So I wouldn't discount a person that wrote that. What I would discount is if they just want you in the, if they only want you as a friend or worse, they want you as their therapist. You know, a lot of dating today, people will bond via these devices with people. I, I call them trauma bonding experiences. You're basically a therapist. By the way, your ladies, the online dating world is a cheap way to get therapy for men and women these days. So uh, I think it's first to do some social things together in a friendly manner. But if there isn't a desire to kiss and make out, and if you don't want to fuck the guy, then what's the point? How many, do you need more new friends in your life? Some of you do, but most of us don't need new friends. We don't have enough time for the existing friends and family we have in our life. So if you're gonna invest in that, at least I wanna invest in someone who I'd like to at least wanna take their clothes off, even if it doesn't happen for the first five dates. All right, Christy writes, question. It's my experience most guys will answer questions with lies in order to say, what they think you want to hear. Is there a foolproof way to determine if a guy is lying? You know, where's that book I have? Bum, bum. <laughs> you know, there's a book called The 101 Lies Men Tell and Women Believe Them. You may want to check that. In the, by the way, there's a link to all the books I recommend in the go to my description, click on Jonathan Books Recommend. Um, it's by uh, Dory Heinler. Okay, let's open this up and see some of the lies. Here's one of the uh, lies. I'll call you. I love you. You're the only one. I've never felt this way about anyone else. I've got to work late at the office tonight. That's the best I've sex I've ever had. You've got the most beautiful eyes. You know, I'd say I've said all seven of these in some way, shape, or form. Um, here's the thing, you, wet ladies, most of you have a highly attuned intuition. And yet many of you, it's like your intuition has, has um, rose colored glasses on it. The foolproof way is to trust your intuition. Now, the tricky part is sometimes the ego gets in the way of intuition. So it takes time to dismantle the ego and start leaning into your heart. I don't think I have a copy of it, but I highly, I highly recommend the book Return to Love by Marianne Williamson. I highly recommend that to read um, because that will start 
dismantling the ego and start helping you shift to your heart. I would definitely recommend that. But um, ultimately, your best bet is your intuition. All right. Thank you so much, Christy. Hey, okay, I'm ordering the book. I'm glad to hear that, Winter. Thank you so much.